which is basically just a French braid, but just you just layer your pieces different opposite of what you do with a French braid. So start here in the front, which are three sections. And you start by crossing the pieces under each other. And do one full braid before you start adding in the hair. It's the same way okay. you do with the French braid. I joined. You notice I'm holding my hands differently than I do with a French braid. Rather than this way, I'm holding them this way. Which is why I think that this braid tends to be a little bit easier for me anyway. I'm going backwards. I'll rip it out like for you. Just add it into the section underneath and twist your hair again. Add your piece in. Take your piece on top, bring it down. Come here. You can see what I'm doing with my fingers. Let's add that to the bottom. Pull it back. You really making my hair. I'm not making your hair. Uh -uh. Nope. I don't make your hair, huh? Let's do whatever's easier for you, whether you think it's easier to do your hair the hair wet or dry. Here's your picture. Thank you. Can you hold that for me? Get to them. And I'll flip this back so you can see what it looks like. Okay. And you see how it starts sticking out. You get the end face. I mean, the, the end face. Thank you. No, Dad. Oh, okay. I mean, not. Again, you're going to try and make all these little bumps smooth, but you're it doesn't have to be perfect. Dad. Okay, you are crying. You're Why crying is he crying? Because, because you broke. Because I'm doing his hair too? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why he okay. was crying. Okay. 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 And he didn't want you to, but you really did. Okay. But and that's an inside out French braid. Put your head up. Don't do it anymore.